Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do a screen replacement on a MacBook Air M1 year 2020. If you turn it around, take a closer look in the back of your laptop here. It says A2337. That would be a model number for the MacBook Air. This is a space gray, and I'll be doing a screen replacement. All right, so the first thing you need to have is definitely a Pentalope P5 screwdriver. We'll be removing all the screws here in the back and get right into the back cover. So let's go ahead and start removing the screws. The screws are not all the same in size. In other words, you would have to make sure not mix match the screw or you'll be having some difficulties to put them back together. So. The very top screws here are much longer and then the two screws here on the side are a lot shorter and here comes the one here at the very bottom. Alright, once you have removed all the screws here the next step is to go ahead and get yourself a metal prying tool. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pry open the back cover here. Just a tiny, tiny little gap that I can insert into, as you can see. All right. And what I'm going to do is going to pop the side. If you can hear that side being popped. And once it's being popped open, then you can just remove the entire back cover. Okay. At this point here, you can definitely see that the side here are your left and right speaker. The entire middle center would be a battery. This is the trackpad or the touchpad. The CPU M1 chip is covered underneath this plastic here. And that is the battery connector. So let's go ahead and remove the battery. So I'm using a plastic here and trying to uh, flip open the metal latch here. That's what the whole time I'm trying to do uh, to flip it up. Okay, there you go. So this little metal latch is the connector that secure the battery. It, when you push it down, it closes. When you lift it up, and the thing is open. Once it's open, now you can just disconnect the battery, okay? The battery connector. So what we're trying to do is make sure that the battery is disconnect before we can replace the screen. All right, so the next step is to go ahead and get yourself a T4 screwdriver um, using a Torque T4. Um, I just like to take this opportunity and let you know that if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen from, this is the replacement screen that I'm talking about. Um, I'll link them in the down description below. Go check out um, the description down below where the link will direct you to Amazon or eBay for this uh, replacement part as well as the tools that you may need. Uh, I'll link them down below. All right, T4, we are removing the screws. Here, I like to say that maybe it, it is good for you to take a picture of your computer, uh, take a snapshot of it, and then print out the piece of paper. And once you have the piece of paper printed out, as you remove the screw, you might want to put it way uh, on top of the piece of paper so you know that screw belongs to which component later on when you put it back together. Um, Apple uses a lot of different screws here so you can get confused um, by the time when you want to put them back together all right so that is being said I'm still using a T4 removing the two screws here that is to remove the bracket and that bracket is the one that's covering the LCD cable so that cable right there, you can just flip it up. They are just like Lego, the snap on to remove, just lift it straight up. 
still using a T4, removing that one screw, and that screw is for the Wi-Fi. All right, the next step is to go ahead and remove the two screws here. The two black screws, they are the one is holding down the LCD board. So this is your LCD board, right? So the two screw right in the center is the one that's holding down the LCD board. This is going to take a little bit patient because I believe that the Wi-Fi antenna is somewhat glue or adhesive onto the bracket. Uh, usually in the past few other models, they can just remove very simply, but this one is slightly uh, difficult. So meaning that you need to put a little bit pressure to remove the Wi-Fi antenna. Now when it comes to the uh, two Wi-Fi cable here, uh, what you want to do is just lift it straight up because the Wi-Fi connector is just a pretty much a circle the one at the bottom on the keyboard I mean on the motherboard is smaller the one on the top is bigger they just sits on top of each other so you just simply lift it straight up that's all you need to do and I'm still working on the Wi-Fi antenna it looks like the one on the left is loose let's work on the right here I just need to get underneath a little bit using a plastic prying tube and put some pressure to pry it open. Okay, that's pretty much it. So what happened is that this adhesive right here is somewhat glued onto the Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, it is okay if you put some pressure to pry it open. And right here in the center, where you can see that little metal here, that, that piece of a bracket is somewhat, um, you know, kind of uh, tape or glue into this metal bracket here. So that's the only thing that you need to remove. Once the thing is done, uh, we're going to jump right into the next step, which is the T8 screwdriver. This is your torque T8. We are removing the screws, three screws on both sides, and that three screws are holding down to the LCD hinge. We need to remove the entire LCD assembly. So remove that three screws on each side of it using a T8 screwdriver. All right, at this point here, what you want to do is just open up your laptop. Okay, I'm pushing it more than 90 degree angle and somewhat slide it off. Okay, and you can just slide off the, the hinge right off the, uh, the, the, the laptop. So at 90, more than 90 degree angle, almost all the way to the back and you can just slide it right off just like that okay now the original screen is removed and the laptop here is at the bottom now what you want to do is get yourself the replacement screen and you want to push the hinge right all the way to the back and if you want because some of the uh, uh, the new screen does not come with the bracket so if if you see that the new screen does not have this two metal piece of the bracket that holding down the connector. Uh, you might want to transfer from your original screen over to that 
uh, new screen but for my case my new screen comes with it so I'm just going to leave it alone as is alright so here comes the trick what you want to do is make sure the LCD board is sitting above on top the laptop okay not underneath this thing has to go above the laptop and push the hinge all the way back and now you want to slide it in so I like to slide it in one side at a time okay once you slide one side in come back here and make sure the other side is slide so while I'm just holding it down on one hand the second hand what I'm going to do is get myself a T8 screwdriver I'll be putting the screw into the hinge and tighten up the LCD screen so that I can close the screen and work on it right so let's work on the other side here just close up the thing and double checking make sure the cable is free and sitting above the laptop all right so once I have closed the screen down now I can continue working on the rest of the screws if you are still following along the video so far then more likely you are already halfway through it and um, yeah I just keep watching the video and I'm sure you can fix the screen replace the screen by yourself all right please take a moment here um, I just wanted to say um, if this video is helpful to you uh, please you know smash the like button for me um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe uh, definitely helps me and motivate me to make more of this sort of video for you okay so smash the like button uh, click the like button subscribe to the channel and yeah all right so at this point what I'm doing is I just um, stick through in between that Wi-Fi antenna with the LCD board so you stick it through it and now you just got to press it down uh, because we have peel off from the adhesive so not nothing is going to stick because of that reason so you just have to kind of press it down uh, hard enough at this point here get yourself a T4 we are going to tighten up the uh, Wi-Fi antenna so there are four screws two on each side of it So the last screw here goes back in. Now the next step is to fold the LCD board. This is the LCD board. Fold it backwards and make sure you can sit on top the Wi-Fi antenna. Do not forget the two tiny black screw. They are supposed to go back in to secure the LCD board. All right, once you have done the process, now what you want to do is to push that LCD cable back in. They're kind of like Lego. Make sure you position them in the right, right place and press it down and it would secure fasten with this bracket here. So I'm gonna get this metal bracket using a T4 and fasten the screw all right once you have done that process now here you want to pay very close attention to it the Wi-Fi connector um, like I said they are kind of like Lego and the two circles are supposed to be sitting on top of each other 
so the most important thing is the alignment right make sure you align them in a position you're not supposed to force it down all you have to do is gently push it down and it should close it in uh, by itself very easily so the, the the important key right here is to position that that connector on top of each other right in the center okay once you kind of have it in a position you can just tap it in and it would secure by itself okay if you feel like you're forcing it down do not do that because once you bend the circle the connector and you have a lot of difficult to make it back to how it was before all right so last but not least you see that little uh, clipper right here that little flex metal clipper so make sure it's open push the battery back in and then close it with that clipper push it down if you do not have the fingernail you just use the plastic prying to push it down and that would fasten that clipper now the next step is to have the back cover press it in right in the center that's where the clickers are and get yourself a pentola p5 and fasten that screw all right now in order to turn the computer back on what you need to do is definitely get yourself the charger you need to plug in the charger and turn the computer back on sometimes um, you have to do that but I would say just do what the right way to do I think you need to put the uh, the charger to turn it back on even though your battery is fully charged because you disconnect the battery for uh, such a long time uh, the computer might think no i can't turn it on unless you put a the charger into it so plug it in uh, turn it on and hopefully you have the correct screen uh, a, a better display and, and whatnot okay and uh, yeah so if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and uh, smash the like button for me and uh, also if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen from um, i'll link them down in the description below where you can get it through ebay or amazon Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time, please take care. Bye now.